Okay, before um, I start this um, tutorial on how I get my brows and um, different products and what they do for your brows, um, I wanna tell you really quick, um, I post on my Instagram at Breck House about this NYX Illuminator in Color Chaotic that looks like this. You guys, it's a complete dupe for um, NARS Orgasm. It's so pretty, I love it on my cheeks. It just feels like spring. So this is definitely something you guys should go and get. It's so pretty and it's gonna be beautiful on all skin types. And then also, um, I picked these up at TJ Maxx for $3. They're blow dry clips made by Swissco. So they were $3 and they are the most amazing clips, you guys. So we're gonna use these today. Um, they're heat resistant. And then also, um, they won't crease your hair at all whatsoever. So they're really, really cool. So anyway. I'm really excited about those, so I'm gonna wear them <laughs> during the video so you guys can see my brows. Anyway, um, okay, so if you haven't checked out my blog, head over there, it's www.breckhousebeauty.com, and I've listed a step-by-step -step tutorial um, to go along with this video, um, but hopefully this is a little bit more in-depth, and I'm gonna try to um, really get into, because um, there's so many questions about brows, so. Anyway, um, okay, so the products that I use, I'll explain as I go along and maybe who would benefit from these. Um, anyone can benefit from this. This is called the MAC Prep and Prime 24-Hour um, Extend Eye Base. This was invented as um, an eye base for eyeshadow to keep it completely waterproof and um, on for 24 hours, and you guys, it really does. It's killer. Um, it is completely invisible. You can't feel it or see it on your skin. So um, as opposed to like paint pots that actually have a color to them, this does not, and there's no texture to it. There's nothing, it's just, it's so amazing. So what I do is I take this all over the lid space and then I tuck it up into my brows. And um, what it's gonna do is it's going to keep your brow product on all day. It's not gonna slip, it's not gonna budge. Like sometimes when I've been hugging Ben, like I'll lose some of the color right there. It's not gonna do that on your boyfriend's shoulder, okay? Okay, so I put that on, just a really thin layer with my finger, and then you wanna take a spoolie, which is what this brush is called. Um, you can buy these or you can, um, I've said this before, just go to the dollar store and get a toothbrush. And um, that's what I used for years um, before I actually got this um, eyebrow uh, pencil in um, gratis, so free makeup from MAC. Um, but I've never, I've never owned a spoolie before that. So anyway, these are the best for brows though or one of those toothbrushes. Okay, so speaking of this brush, I mean this pencil, this is amazing, not only because it comes with that spoolie that you need on the end, but also um, this pencil is really super soft. It's a waxier texture, um, so it goes on pretty thick, okay, like that. A little bit, like the littlest color of this, go, like, or the littlest swipe of this goes a long way um, color-wise. And this would be for somebody who likes their brow shape, Okay, so you like how everything looks. You just need to fill in the background with a little bit more color. That's who this is for, so I'll show you. Um, it's not really, this type of pencil isn't really geared towards somebody like me that I need to go in and fill right here um, because it is that pencil texture and so it's not gonna look natural whatsoever, but it does a really good job at just filling in what you already have, okay? So if you already have brows that you like the shape and you like um, the color of your hair and everything, then just go and get a coordinating color to this, this or to your hair. This one's called Deep Brunette, okay? So that's good. Then another pencil that I actually don't own because I've completely replaced everything um, that I do on um, brides or you know when I do freelance and then on myself um, with a different product that I'll show you in just a second. Um, but they have these really, really small eyebrow um, pencils um, that, I mean, they're just the tiniest skinny mini. And so that would be for somebody who needs to fill in like I do with, a, and you wanna use a pencil because a pencil's super easy to use, right? It's just one product. Um, and you want, the, I want a hair-like um, illusion there because it is so skinny, it actually does look like hair. So if you want to fill in, okay, where you don't have hair and you want it to look like hair, then go and get one of those super, super skinny. They're called, they're just called at MAC, they're brow definers, but every line carries them. They're just the really, really skinny one and they're amazing. 
I wouldn't necessarily recommend that for somebody who needs to come in um, and um, fill in the background because it is a little bit sharp and so it's not gonna be as natural in the background, okay? All right, and then what I use is, um, I use the MAC Gel Fluid Line Cream, right? It looks like this. Um, and um, this MAC Brush 266 is like, I call it like the daddy of all angle brushes because it's amazing. Um, when you are using um, more than one product, so here's what I recommend. Use two different colors on your eyebrows for the most natural look because naturally our eyebrows are not all one color, right? Whether it's um, actual color that you're getting in there or the density. So if you look at, like I was looking at my kids' eyebrows and they go like lighter here and then it's darker right here because it gets dense and then it's a little bit lighter on the end. It's the same way with everybody's brows. They get um, lighter and darker wherever. It doesn't matter if it's the color, like I said, or the density of the hair. Um, you're gonna get two different colors in there. So that's why I use a lighter gel cream color, okay? Like, it's just a little bit lighter um, than what I like on my brows. And then I go in with a powder after to add depth, okay? So if you're using just one product, right, you're like super natural, you don't want anybody to know you're even wearing anything on anything on your brows, go and get just this. Um, but if you do need to fill in like I do um, different places, then I would suggest getting either this and the skinnier brush in a darker color or, um, you know, like a combination, like a lighter one of these and then a darker one of these or even two different color powders so just go in and get one shade like lighter than probably what you you really want and then one that's going to add depth and be the actual color that you want so I'll, I'll show you what I mean so this is the um, MAC fluid line gel cream like I said it's amazing it's waterproof um, this is super creamy this is the my favorite brow product I have ever used I've used most things on the market I think um, this one's super creamy and it's easy to use so I just go in um, with my angled brush and um, I take it in and then I actually swipe it on the sides to get um, a nicer point up there and so what you want to do is you've all seen the charts where you know you want to take it right here I actually take it in a little bit closer um, but you know if you want like a more natural um, you want to take it out on the outside of your nostril and then the same place through your pupil that's where you want um, your arch right right there and then it, um, you want to take it out here and that's where you want it to end is right there where it hits okay it's like the tip of your nose out there so just take your brush and just follow those um, they do have stencils like Anastasia has stencils that you can use also um, but um, that you know you don't necessarily need one of those so anyway so here's what I suggest you do okay you go in with your pencil or your whatever product you're using first, your lighter color, right? And you go in and you fill in what you just already have. And I um, go in and I suggest you push up on that color, okay? And I also do one brow at a time because your brows shouldn't match. You should match it to your eye shape and um, this proportion of your face rather than trying to get it completely even. And it's easier for me if I do one eye at a time. So I'm just gonna do one eye and then I'll go in and do the other one. So you wanna go in and just fill in what you have and brush up, right? You can already see a difference. Then you go in with that same product and you add your arch. Now, on me, this is how I like it. You can see um, where my nose bone goes into my brow bone, right? Like right there, you can actually see it. So I like to start my arch right there, okay? And just come up. And I just follow that natural brow bone up, just diagonally towards um, my temple up in here, okay? And um, when you're doing this, I find your finger is the best tool to use um, for blending everything together. Okay, so you see that I already created that arch right there. And I'm just brushing up with that lighter color, whatever it is, if it's a pencil or this gel cream or a different powder. And then you just want to come back down slightly. Um, don't come out too far. That ages you. Okay. You want to keep it nice and youthful. Keep it kind of tucked up. It's like a little face left. Okay. So you want to come in here and just comb up with that brush. Okay. Yeah, I like that arch. I think that looks good. 
All right, and then in this middle here, the reason I like to start right here is um, if you if you look at your kids' eyebrows, they all come in, okay? Um, not necessarily meaning you want your eyebrows to look like that, but it is more of a youthful look. That is, that it is absolutely true. Um, it's also what Anastasia says is to bring them in slightly. Um, I have gotten some flack for my eyebrows on Instagram and um, I was chatting with my cute friend, um, Ashlyn, and I was seeing it's like the Bermuda Triangle. Like when you look into the mirror, um, you do your brows a certain way, right? But then when you see a picture, or for us that do these videos, um, like she does, um, it looks totally different than you did. And so the days that I that I got flack, it's because I left my brows um, for what I wear on like a daily basis, and I didn't fix them for pictures or for the video. Um, so I ended up getting crap. So I usually, like in real life, they look better um, when I take them in a little bit more. Um, but on camera, they come across like super crazy. So anyway, okay, so see? With that lighter color, I just came in a little bit where I like it, like that. Um, and then I combed vertically up. And then I'm combing up the entire way, okay, to create that arch. So let's see. So I, you know, I obviously like it to come in more. But let's see if I got my arch right. Yeah, perfect, and perfect. Mine doesn't even come that far out, but that's okay because I don't like it that far out. So like that. Then what you wanna do is get your darker color or your color that you want your actual brow to be. This is Espresso by MAC, and you just take that same brush, and what I do is I come in the bottom first to reinforce that arch and just sharpen it up, okay? like that, and then naturally our brows are darker down here versus up here. I know the trend is to come darker out here and go really, really light in there, um, and that is beautiful. I, I can't achieve that look on me though for some reason, um, but I come in darker on the bottom and then I comb up without any extra color on there because the sun hits us from the top, right? So we're naturally lighter up on top. Okay, so that's how I like it, is like that. So I, like I said, I come in, except for in here, I do go vertically because I don't have hair in here. So I need to um, create that illusion. So you come, you wanna comb up. So see, I have no hair, like I have, I have nothing to work with, but by combing up with the brush and by using two different colors, it really does give the illusion that I have um, fuller eyebrows, but I do not have fuller eyebrows, so. Like that, there you go, okay? And then I always do the other eye, and then I um, kind of go back and forth. So I'm, I went into that gel cream right there, and I'm just going over what I naturally have, and I'm combing up, okay, like that. And then I'm gonna go in and create that arch. Now, I have a deviated septum in here, so my nose is a little, Actually, it's a lot crooked if you um, look at it. So um, on this eye, I do the arch first because I know where that goes. Um, and then I come in and go in the center. So this one, I start in the center and come up. But this one, I always have to do the arch first um, with that lighter color. Okay, they look about even. All right, then on this one, I this one varies all the time with what I do. So I'm gonna come in that much, come in vertically, comb up. See how this gel gives that texture that there's hair there? It's so cool. Okay, I'm not gonna to get too crazy about getting these even, because I don't want this video to be too long and just me obsessing over this. But um, it's the same idea. So I did that with the lighter color. I'm going in with that espresso, and I'm gonna come in on the arch first. Okay, and then I'm combing up, going vertical here, and I am just combing up. See, so it looks like I have hair, actually, where I do not. <laughs> okay, and then I just, I like I said, I go back and forth until I get them even. Um, that's about there, though. That one was pretty quick. So anyway, um, play on with those. I'm gonna take these ridiculous things out, but I had to do that so you guys could see. Um, 
But yeah, there you go. That's what I do. If you guys need help with finding your arch or how far maybe it should come in, um, send me, um, DM me on Instagram at Breck House, just a selfie, um, and I can help with your colors, um, like, you know, suggesting colors, or head to my blog and check that out. It's www.brackhousebeauty.com um, and ask me there. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, and if you guys need anything, just let me know. See you guys.